guys doing? I am on my way to Walmart and to ShopRite to finish up my Thanksgiving dinner. Today's Tuesday. You know, I'm a procrastinator, but you guys already know, like, how Thanksgiving is. So, it's not like I'm, like... You know, I used to be the type, like, I used to have my stuff, like, a week early, you know. Um, but, you know. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to go to Walmart first because some things are cheaper at Walmart. And then I need other things that I, I have to get at Walmart. And then um, just shut right and that's it. Now, I get a free turkey because if you spend like $400 or more... Um, at ShopRite during a certain time frame, then you get like a free turkey or a free ham. So I was planning to get my free turkey. Lexi says, Lexi comes home. I did not know that Popeyes does this. You know Popeyes, the fast food chain? So they have, uh, it's called spicy or Cajun spicy turkey that's already like done. All you have to do is heat it. They're frozen, but you just heat it. But it was like, I think she paid like $60 for it. I was like, Lexi, I get a free turkey. She was like, well, this way you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is heat it up. I'm like, well, I guess I'll have to get, I can always get the free ham. I don't eat pork. You know, my kids do. So, I mean, I get the free ham for another day. But, I mean, that was nice. But I thought, $60. But, hey, that's her money. She wants to do it. I didn't even know they do that. So, they had four cases come in today. Now, I don't know how many is in a case. Um, the shipment came in at 10 in the morning. Lexi got there at like 1030 and they only had six turkeys left and she was able to get one of them. I mean, they sold like that and they're not getting any more. So, they must be really popular. I never heard of it. Um, then I looked at one line. Everybody said how good it is and I mean, we'll see. I've never heard of it. Let me know down below if you have. But in a way, I was kind of happy. I'm like, oh, this is easy. Because like I already told you, Lexi's working on Thanksgiving. Um, Isaiah's off. Tyler's off. But Tyler, you, you know, he'll go to his friends. And I don't know what Isaiah's doing. But they're like, make me a plate. So I'm just going to make, like, just very little of everything. So I don't need to get too much. You know, like, I'm always going to make baked macaroni and cheese fried cabbage. I mean, that's always a plus. Me and Lexi are the only ones to eat potato salad, you know, because my husband isn't here this year, so you know, it's just little, you know, so I, I hopefully I won't be spending that much, you know. Um, I'm in Lexi's car. Uh, so Isaiah has mine. His car. Anyway, Lexi's off today, so everything worked out. Um, but she's like, mommy can you be home by three because I have plans and I'm like yeah if I'm home I mean I would it's her car but it's like don't be rushing me you know like your friends can wait it's not like they have like plans to go and do something you just want to hang out together and cook Lexi's into this cooking Lexi became a really really good cook the other night she cooked dinner and I'm telling you it was so good I couldn't believe it like um so that's what she's doing. Me, I never like cooking. I cook, of course, and my kids like my cooking, but I only cook because I have to. But for some people, they just really like cooking. I'm not that one, you know? Um, yeah, so we have everything. Lexi's favorite color is purple, and I don't know what you can say. Let me see if I can sum the stop sign. This big purple thing on the steering wheel that I'm not used to. Then, you know, where you put it on dry park, the thing is a big purple thingy. Oh my God, Lexi. Lexi is a trip. How much gas is in Oh, a half a tank. Do you remember before I had my car and Lexi had another car? Every time I drove her car, it was like under a quarter tank and I always had to put gas in it. It is cold and rainy today. Oh, good news. So, my eagles fly, eagles fly. Oh, I can't sing, otherwise I would sing, you the whole, sing the whole song. But we are 9-1. and one. We won against the Kansas City Chiefs, which I was kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. If anybody watched that game, it would... <laughs> I didn't think we were going to win. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I didn't think we were going to win, but we did. We did. I was shocked shocked um 
I mean, if the one guy on Kansas City, if he would have just caught that ball at the very end, you know, but I, I just think he, you know, the, it was raining and it was wet and I, I, I don't know, but I feel bad for him because I'm sure the team's mates are upset and he's upset at himself. You know, I always feel bad for the other team, always. So we're nine and one. So we lost against the Jets out of all teams, but that's all right. Now, last year the Super Bowl was the Chiefs and the Eagles and we lost so it was kind of like playing the uh, Super Bowl again you know but this time we won uh, and you know what's funny so a couple of years ago I've always liked the Eagles but a couple of years ago you know I would I'd always wear my hoodies you know and Eagles and I would come where I live and you know I live in Jersey South Jersey and people say if you don't take that hoodie off or whatever because Eagles instead of being nine and one they might have been one and nine you know like they were they weren't too good and um, I some people they pick the teams that are doing really well you know what I mean and the ones that aren't doing real well it's like they they disown them or whatever the case may be but I'm like I if I'm if I F with you uh, I F with you the good the bad what have you it's like a little crowd in here today you know what I mean um and so I've always liked the Eagles you know I would go at the grocery store and have my Eagles hood in there, and you know, and people would laugh or what have you know, like joking, you know. But I'm like, I like the Eagles, and now they're doing good. And it's like, now what do y'all have to say? You know, well, they've been doing good for the past few years. But um, I did bring some bags because I have Lexi's car, and I don't even know what's in her trunk uh, to see if there's bags or whatever. But I probably should have brought some more. I don't know. All right, so let's go in here and uh, let's do some shopping. The weird thing is, Lexi, she has a key, and now I'm used to the push start, so it's, like, so weird to me. All right, I'll be back. Oh, my God, I am freezing. It is pouring outside. It is freezing. <laughs> I had to put a whole bunch of stuff on her back seat because her trunk is loaded with stuff. Um... Let me tell you what happened. So anyway, I spent, I don't know how much it was, and then I had, uh, I got a $20 gift card in there. So I spent $218.77. But I got more than like food, you know. Um, you know, like I needed trash bags, paper plates, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, I am so dumb. I should have went online because I didn't look at the price. The bounty uh, paper towels were $22.18. But I, I needed them by Thanksgiving. Ugh, that was crazy. Yeah, it was $2.35, and then I had that $20 um, gift card. Because uh, this guy comes in and he smelled really good. He was dressed really nice. He's like, Excuse me, ma'am. And usually I just walk away. I'm like, oh, Let me start the car up. Usually, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, if they say, do you have Atlantic City Electric? That's who our supplier is. And I'm like, nope. Or are you the homeowner? I'm like, nope. And I just keep on walking. So he was cute uh, and uh, very professional, you know. And so I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> anyway, just for talking to him, you get a $20 gift card. You, like, you, just too, you don't do anything, you know. And, uh, so then, like, um, for the gift card or whatever, and I was just signing my name just to show, like, you know, he talked to me just to verify. I don't know, maybe he gets come. I don't know. But they didn't get any of my information, just my signature, right? And, um, he goes, oh, you're left, you're lefty. And I was like, yeah, he goes, I'm lefty in it too. And then we're talking about that. And then just, like, he has a little southern accent, so he's from, like, um, like he lived in Georgia and all that, but his, I mean, we, we, we did some talking. His father was military, so like he, when he was younger, he was in Japan, like all over the place. And so he traveled a lot and now he's living in PA, you know, Pennsylvania. Anywho, so he was like, are you married? You know, I don't know why do I do this to myself? I always say, yes, I'm married because legally I am. And I might flirt and all that, but it goes no farther. Like, I would have never gave him my phone number. I would have never, like, 
did that. I mean, I flirted. He, he was flirting, you know. I did give him my YouTube channel, though, the, the my beauty channel. I'm like, I'm not giving him this channel. He might find it. You know, I guess I want to gossip a little bit. But, um, and he subscribed. He was like, see, look, you got a $20 gift card and uh, you got a new subscriber. And then I looked like this and I was like, yeah, I was like, I look a lot different with makeup and stuff going on. Huh? I was like, you see how women, we can catfish. <laughs> you know, you, that's just how I am. If you know me in real life, that, that is just how I am. I'm very outgoing and I joke and all that kind of stuff. And he started laughing. And I used to tell him, I was like, if you ever really want to know what a woman really looks like, when you take her out on the first date, take her swimming or somewhere where they get their face wet or makeup or what have you. You know what they really look like. And, uh, you know, he was just laughing. Anyhow, so that was that. That put me in a good mood. Well, like the $20, you know, because, hey, $20 is $20. So now I, I basically just have to go and get, so I make my baked mac and cheese. Oh my god, it was so expensive at Walmart. I know for a fact it's cheaper at ShopRite. And just a few other things that I need to get. I, I, I don't want to spend more than a hundred bucks. Um, because I want to get that TV and all that kind of stuff for Black Friday. You know, so I want to save my money. And I mean, you know, I don't want to get all this stuff and then nobody eats it. You know, and then I got to get a cabbage. Um, bacon. Oh, I hate buying pork stuff. But my kids eat it, so. Um, but yeah, so that was that. I did a coffee talk. I don't know what will go out first because it's already late. I don't even know if I'd be able to get this vlog up. Today's Wednesday when I'm filming because it's already 2.30. And, um, because I was in Walmart for like over an hour. I probably talked to him for like 20, 25 minutes. Um, anyway, so... I did a coffee talk. I did a little sit down video and stuff. And um, over this uh, relationship that's going online with Krishan Rock, Blueface, Jaden Alexis, I don't even know if you guys even know who I'm talking about. But it just reminded me of what I went through. And you guys, if it's already up, you've already seen it. If not, you'll see it. And it just, it, I, I, you know, yeah, I'm always, I always have things to say, you yeah? know? And I just gave my little opinion about it because I was in the same predicament at well, young, young and dumb, fighting over a man, fighting other women over a man when the man is the one having his cake and eat it too, literally, you know what I mean? All right, uh, so let's go and shop right, oh my goodness, the shop right out it. I'm thinking about filming, I don't know if you guys would be interested or not, filming on um, my Thanksgiving dinner or maybe at least show you like afterwards or I'm really interested in that turkey how it's going to turn out so I'll, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that but like I said a lot of people must know about it because it's within 30 minutes four cases sold oh my goodness look I got a park wait and it's raining and cold like literally there's no parking spot oh I gotta do better than that so let me see what I can do don't make me pull out my handicap tag. You know, I have them, but I never use it. And I'm only joking because there are people that really do need it. I mean, only when I'm carrying bags and I'm parked far away, like, if I, and I'm having trouble, you know, like breathing or something that day, you know, my heart issue, um, is when I do it, but rarely ever. I can count on my one hand as many times as I used it, you know. Um, but I do have parking spot a little oh, oh, oh. Well, I bet you that's handy is that handicap I don't know no it's not okay good I don't know what that was oh mother Fletcher they were just backing out to park oh I'm gonna lose my parking spot son of a okay now I'm pissed that's what they were doing backing out so they could park better When I was younger, I used to have a lot of road rage. Oh, my God. Not like where I would go out and hit somebody or anything like that. Nothing like that. But I would cuss them out something terribly. Until one day, I was at fault. I was in a, the mall parking lot. And there was, like, nobody. Oh, my God. My heat's up high. Um, and 
So I was like going across, right? Doing the wrong thing. There was nobody there. And a guy was coming. And anyway, because I was going the wrong way, he, and I had Lexi in the car. Lexi was probably about 11 or 12 and Isaiah in the car. And he was calling me every, he was like sticking his finger, middle fingers up, both of them, cussing me out, like calling me all types of bitches and names. And I just looked at him. And I ain't saying nothing back, one, because I had my children in the car. And two, I was in the wrong, right? So I turned and I looked at Lexi and I go, is that how I look? And she was like, yeah. And from that day on, I stop, I still get a little angry like what I did now, but nothing like I used to be. Because that made me like laugh. I mean, that was pretty bad. But I just looked at him like, well, you know, I just said sorry. <laughs> what can you say? I was in the wrong, you know? Oh, gosh. That was something. All right. Let me go in here and um, get this stuff. I'm dreading. I hate when it's cold, especially when it's raining and cold. I dread it because then my hands start hurting, you know? All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't do too bad. I spent, what did I spend? $132. I saved $41.77. Let me go. See, I saved. I saved some money. And then that's how much I spent right there. So I did not do too bad. Well, it's about what I wanted to spend, about 100 or so. I spent 132 At first, she was like, the ham isn't free. And I'm like, what do you mean? So uh, I was going to put it back because, you know, I don't mess with ham anyway. But then she was like, well, let me scan it again. And then it went through. I was like, okay. So I got everything that I need it. So that's pretty good. I remember years ago when I used to make like the big dinners, I used to spend like three, $400. Now we're talking about many years ago when groceries weren't as expensive. And just for one dinner, and this is when I lived in the projects. <laughs> for one di for one night, you know, I would just, and I would be up for a couple days, you know, like making the, like the potato salad, like the night before the potato salad. Um, the pies, uh, the mashed potato, you know, things like that. I would, of course, make a head, you know. And then everybody would come with their little, tup I was like, bring your own bowls, Tupperware bowls and different things like that. They would bring it because I'd make so much food, they'd have to take it home. And I used to always complain because, oh my God, it was so much work. And I didn't really get a chance to like enjoy myself, right? Because there's just a lot of work for just me. And then my mom, you know, she'd help clean up and all that kind of stuff. But like, now I miss that. Those are the times, like, your family's all around, you pray. I mean, I, we still pray and everything else now, but little things like that, like, we take for granted. Just like kids, like, sometimes when they're, like, babies, like, we can't wait till they start walking because, you know, we have to carry them everywhere because they crawl everywhere. Like, you know, and then once they start walking, it's like, then they run. And then, like, you can't wait till they get a little bit older. Then you can't wait till they get in school. And then you can't wait till it's, like, you know, and then before you know it, it's gone. And those are the times that we take for granted, you know, and my grandmother used to always tell me, and they grow up so quick and, 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 and just, you know, take, don't take for granted what you have at the time, but I, you know, you don't, because when you're going through, you don't, and, you know, I was a single mom, so it was like so much, but like, and my kids were in sports, and, but I miss that now, and if I had to do it all over again, and I had the mind frame that I do now, it would be so much easier. Like, I wouldn't allow a lot of things to get to me. Like, my kids, you know, I was a type back in the day when glass coffee tables were in style. People used to say, how can you have that stuff when you have kids? Well, I trained my kids not to touch. My kids not to, you would never come in my house and, and see any kind of crown or markers or anything on my walls because the only time they used it, if I was sitting there with them or I put it up, they knew they couldn't touch that type of stuff unless, you know, I was there. Um, but I was like too strict, I think now. Do you know what I'm saying? And I mean, not that I want them to, uh, you know, paint on the wall and all that stuff. That's not what I mean. But I was like so, uh, you know, um, that I wish now, I if I could had had the headspace I do now. You know what I mean? And just let them be kids sometimes. You know, um, I was always strict, schedule. 
you know, um, the kids were in bed by a certain time, that got up a certain time, even on the weekends, like, it was like that, they had to play a sport, um, we ate around the same time, um, I just was, it was, I didn't play that running, you were not allowed to run in the house, that's, that was for outside, you know, um, use your inside voice, and all that should still apply now, but I'm just saying I was too, like, you know, like, I don't know, I just, you know, things you know, through experience, like, I always talk, life experiences, like, people could tell you whatever they want, but until you experience it, you know, um, so I was in there, what made me think of it, I was in there, and I see, like, the mom, and the dad, and the kids, and they're, like, shopping for Thanksgiving, and, you know, it's nice, I like seeing that, even though I didn't really have that, like growing up or my kids, I, I love seeing that family structure where the mom and the dad are together shopping and the kids and it's a blessing, you know? I love it. I really, really do. But, you know, I notice, I don't know if it's from just Jersey or what, this area, but like people are just so mean. Like I'm steady telling people, have a, ha a good holiday, happy Thanksgiving. And they're like, oh yeah. Then they're like, oh yeah, happy Thanksgiving. But like even outside, you would think you were in the city, like in New York or something, because you're beep, beep, beep. If, if like you're walking, they're beeping, get out of the way. Like, you know, everybody's uh, has this bitch face, right? Look, you know, they're all mad all the time, you know, and I get it, but I'm like, you know. And then they're nice. It's like, it doesn't cost anything to be nice to somebody. And it's so many people, I said, have a good day or have a great weekend or have a happy Thanksgiving, have a great holiday. And immediately their whole attitude changes. You know, they're like, oh, thank you. And I wish more people would, would do that as well. You know, because you just never know what people are going through. <sighs> what is that noise? My seatbelt's on. I have no idea. Maybe she needs air in her tires? I need to look. Let me figure that out and I will be back. I'm back. So, <laughs> it's a couple days later. I think the last we um, ended up was Wednesday because I did Thanksgiving. Um, I, I was shopping for Thanksgiving dinner. And today is Friday. It's late. It's like 4.40 p.m. And it's going to start getting dark soon. So I don't know how much longer we have that you can kind of see me. Uh, we are Black Friday shopping. Yes, we are. Um, so the last thing I ended because I kept hearing that beeping, right? I had Lexi's car, my daughter's car. I'm like, what is that beeping sound? I pull over, I look at the tires, there's no tires that are going, um, like, flat, you know, or anything like that, so I get home, I'm like, Lexi, there is this, uh, <laughs> peeping sound in your car, she was like, did you have your seatbelt on, I was like, of course, and she said, did you have anything in the front seat, and I'm like, yeah, I had packages, I said, because I had your back seat, because your trunk was filled up with stuff, she goes, oh, well, that's why there's a sensor, and anytime there's weight on it, it's saying, like, put your seatbelt on, in case you have, like, a child, or something like that, sometimes, nowadays, like, the child is short, so, like, there's a sensor there, you know, and the weight must have, they must have thought, like, somebody was sitting there, so that's what it was, but I didn't see like a seatbelt thingy, um, like coming on anyway. So that's what that was. I got so much to tell you. Um, I'm at, um, the drugstore. I have to pick up one of my medications. Um, so let's see. Drive through closed. Oh my God. It gets on my nerves. So, um, I think I told you, because I haven't edited the first half, okay, so if I'm repeating myself, sorry, but my daughter bought a Popeye's chicken. I'll show you a picture right here, what it looked like, you know, when um, she brought it home. And I cooked it yesterday, and uh, okay, first of all, it was 60 bucks, $59, and the Popeye's chicken um, ranged between 14 and 16 pounds, which is, go ahead, which is, I mean, it's just me and the three kids, so it was enough. I mean, I even had to, like, I have to freeze some turkey, you know. Now, it's supposed to be pre-cooked, okay? And it says the directions were you cook it for an hour and a half covered, 
and then you take it off and you you know put up the heat or whatever you cook it you, uh, the aluminum foil is off to get a little crispy you know you take the um aluminum foil off for another half hour however when I cut it, it was still like pink because it's pre-cooked. So the, in theory, we're just like heating up the turkey, right? I cooked that mug for three hours. And then I, of course, I'm steady basting it with the juice and all that. And then like I took it off up the oven so that it could be a little crispy for like another 40 minutes. And I'm like, that's it. Because I didn't want to dry the turkey out, you know? Um... Now that I've had it and stuff, I would do it a little bit different because I don't think it was like fully cooked. I don't know. And then I went on YouTube, which I should have did prior. And as they were doing the directions and when you cut the tur when they were cutting the turkey up, I tried to put in some videos here. It didn't look like it was done. Our Popeye's Cajun turkey is ready to eat. thing i think it's i get i don't have tiktok so i guess the popeye's chicken were is like really popular and i guess kfc has one too i don't know um here's the thing i think like if you don't know how to cook a turkey it's your first time or wh what have you i don't know it you know I, I can see somebody purchasing it but for me uh i think it's too much money i'd rather just get the turkey season it myself um, and cook it, you know, I just don't think it's worth the price. That is my opinion, but I've been cooking Thanksgiving dinner since I was 18, 19 years old. Um, and I'm 47 now. So 30 years, you know, I've been cooking a turkey. So, um, I, I, I don't know, but it's all right. It wasn't bad. Um, I just, and it wasn't really dry, you know, and then I made gravy out of the juice, you know, but it's just, um, I'm glad I tried it. I get to, I tried it, and it, like I said, it wasn't bad, but I think it was a little bit cheaper, but just for the price for me, I wouldn't purchase it again. You know what I mean? So the outside was really good flavoring, but once you cut in the inside, you really didn't taste the flavoring. And the way that I cook my turkey, you know, I have it, you know, like, I, I don't know. And that's just uh, my personal opinion. But let me know if you heard of people getting turkeys from Popeye's. Have you tried it? Let me know down below. I didn't film any of me cooking my Thanksgiving dinner because I was doing the cooking. Um, Lexi had, had to work. Isaiah was supposed to work, but he was off. So um, I wanted to get everything done by lunch. And so I was just like, I didn't even think about filming. Um... So it was just me and the two and my boys, you know, and then Lexi came home, of course, and she, then I ate a little bit more with her, you know, when she got off of work and stuff. But, um, I had a really good, really nice Thanksgiving. This is the first Thanksgiving. I didn't cry because most of you know, you know, my mother passed away on Thanksgiving and then also my grandma, my brother, my mother passed away nine months apart. So it's, you know, four years for each of them. And I was the one who always did all the cooking and everybody came to me. That's the car shutting down completely. And it, it, it's just, you know, not having them. And then I'm also living in their house that they lived in. And so, so many memories from when I was a child, a teenager. So it was like bittersweet, you know? Um, but I, we talked about them a lot and I told them different stories growing up. So it was more like that, but I didn't cry. Um, it's also my first Thanksgiving, you know, without me, without my husband, you know, which was a good Thanksgiving, you know, there was no walking on eggshells, no like attitudes, you know, it, my kids were happy. It, it was just really, really nice. So I really enjoyed myself. Then I told you guys I wanted to get, um, a TV. So I got my TV, a 65 inch. I'm so glad I waited because I had seen a Samsung TV, which I know that brand, the brand's really good, a 65 inch, um, and it was $3.98 and it was 4K smart TV and I almost got that. But my kids were like, mom, wait, there might be a better deal. And I'm like, but I'm impulsive. I'm like, well, what if they sell out? Because $400 is a great deal for a TV. And I'm glad I waited because I found, it's called a TLR or something like that. I'll put a picture right here. 65 inch smart TV, 4K. It was only 228 
and with tax and everything, it came to like four, $243, under $250. Now, I never heard of the brand. I did post it on the community page, and a lot of you guys said you get the brand, you got this brand TV, and it worked. And here's my thing. Even if it just works for a couple years, it's only 200 bucks. I mean, I got my money's worth, you know. So, and it's, anything's better than what I have now, because the TV I have now is like 11 years old. And the reason why I wanted a 65 inch is because, you know, I told you guys before, this house was built in either 1900 or 1901. So the rooms are smaller, you know, different things. So I didn't want to have like this, you, you know what I mean. Um, so I wanted a 65 inch because that's the size that I had before. I didn't want anything smaller, anything bigger. So I'm glad. Then for the other living room, I almost got a 50 inch TV because they had them on sale. I'm like, nope. You don't need it. You do not need it. I still got to get my bed. Um, for all weekend, they have, like, the mattresses and stuff on sale. So, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that today since it's getting late. But I'm on my way. Well, I got to get my medicine. And then I'm going to PetSmart because PetSmart is having a big, humongous sale on dog beds. And then I also have a coupon. If you spend $25 or more, you get $10 off. And so, I'm like, okay. So, then I have that. Um... I, I need to get a dog bed for my room. I don't have one. So now, you know, that might... Because when my husband lived with me, you know, he didn't like the dogs being in my room or anything like that. So now, I can have my dogs in my room. You know, I want a dog bed as well, you know? So, all right. Let me go in here, get my medicine, and um, we'll see how dark it gets. I don't know. But like I said, then we're going to PetSmart. So, I'll be back. I'll try to film inside PetSmart. But last time I tried to film the cats that are in there, you know, because they have, like, an adoption area, I got copyrighted uh, for one of the songs that were playing. So we'll see. I might have to add background music. But anyway, let me hurry up and go get my medicine. I'll be back. Okay, I was in there for a minute. Look how dark it is. Let me see if I put these lights on. Oh, that's terrible. All right, I will see you when I get inside of PetSmart where there's light, and then we'll say our goodbyes. I'll be back, guys. So, it took me a good minute. Let me see if I can get into the light. It took me a good minute to get here because they must have the uh, Thanksgiving parade, like, with Santa Claus and all that, because the main strip is um, down, you know? And then I see, like, all these cars parked on the side, so... I'll see. I don't even know what time it starts. I'll have to look it up because since my kids are, are older... I haven't been to a Thanksgiving parade in I don't know how long. Um, so, I forgot all about it. So, I, I'll i see, like, what time. Let me walk, walk in and, and, and talk, Ann. Um, I'll definitely see, like, what time it starts. And, like, I'll do a separate vlog if I can get it, you know, and film the Thanksgiving parade. I don't know. I don't even know if I can find a parking spot. But, all right, let me go inside PetSmart and, uh, I'll be good. People look at me like I'm crazy because there's so many people out shopping. <laughs> they must think I'm talking to myself. I don't know. Oh, I see Black Friday 50% off. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I didn't record inside of there because it was crowded and, you know. But I got three dog beds. I got a toy. And then I got seven, like, bones. They were buy five, um, get two free. And I spent $52. That's it. Let me show you what I got. Hold on. Let me switch you around. So these right here, the Christmas ones, the extra large beds, I got two of them. Um, and then I got this one for my room for Nala, you know, like a little better one. This was 20, this was on sale for, I think, 20 or 24, something like that. Um, then I got this little toy and then some like chewing bones. Now, it's funny because last week or whenever it was that I went in to get dog food, I seen these two like Christmas ones, right? And I was like, oh, they were on sale for uh, 20, let me think, $19.99 or something like that, or I don't know. So I was like, oh, okay, 20 bucks, I can get two of them. And the lady stopped me and said, no, they're gonna be on sale uh, for Black Friday, if you can wait. And I was like, yes, I can. Because those, the, the one of the Christmas ones, I put inside Nala's crate, you know, because she doesn't like, I don't keep my dogs in the crate when I leave or anything like that, because I'm always scared, like, off a bit of fire or somebody comes in to rob me or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, whatever, burglarize the house, you know, what good is it, the dog's in a crate or 
there's a fire or something, dog can't get out. Anyway, this is a personal opinion. And so, but Nala still likes to go in her crate, like with the doors open and go in there and stuff when she don't want to be bothered. So I'll put a dog bed in there. So it was like 10 bucks for these or something like that. So let me show you again. So I'm just going to put this one in here. And then this one they consider, it just says stay cozy, but you could have it all year round because I mean, it, it doesn't look really Christmassy. So I am satisfied. I got my TV for under 250 bucks. Uh, I got my dogs their bed and I am good. It feels so good like not having little kids because I remember, oh, there's a full moon I'm gonna show you. I remember like getting up early. This was before like they had Black Friday open like on Thanksgiving. And we would get up, people would be out at two in the morning waiting for the stores to open. And, you know, it was when you don't have a lot of money, you know, for their big gifts, it was nice to go out on Black Friday and get the sales and the deal, deals and stuff, you know. But it's just so nice. Like, my kids have everything they want because they work and they pay for it. It's like, you know, <laughs> I don't have to do that anymore, at least like the big gifts, you know. Um, oh, the cloud just covered it. I should have showed you when I seen it. You were able to see it, and now that cloud just covered it. Darn it. All right, I'm going to say my goodbyes um, because, you know, you won't be able to see in the car because of the tent and stuff. So please like this video. It really does help me out. Make sure you leave a comment. Comment really helps with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. It would mean the absolute world to me. I'm going to try to film the, um, oh, it's getting tired. Well, I guess I can lean in on this uh, bed thing real quick. Um, and I'll put it in a separate video if I could do the Christmas parade or Thanksgiving parade or whatever it is. And, um, yeah, that's everything. Don't forget to check out my beauty channel. This Saturday, I don't know when this vlog will go up, but I'm going to start streaming and have you guys come up there so I could talk to you one-on-one -on, -one on my beauty channel. So go over there, check it out, see if that is something that you're going to be interested in. I'm going to start that at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And, um, yeah, I don't think I have anything to say. Let me know how your Thanksgiving was. How did you make out? Did you cook? Did you go over people's house? Let me know all the tea. And have you heard of the Popeye's turkey, the Cajun style turkey? Let me know. All right, guys. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. All right, and make sure you go right home. You don't need to go to Walmart. You don't need to get any more shopping done. Nothing. My goodness, these deals. Nope, go home. You don't need to go to big lots. You don't need to go to big lots. No, you don't.